Your complimentary breakfast. Jacaranda FM. Here's the thing about you, Chad. Uh, there are these moments of making decisions. And one of those moments was obviously when you saw Phelps win the, all those gold, gold medals in Beijing. Now, that's, yes. that was one moment. And there's also a moment that you mentioned when Cameron Van Ber uh, won that, uh, that, uh, when he broke that record. Yeah. And uh, these are moments when you, when you sit yourself and no one told you, listen, you've got to be an Olympic champion. It was you that made that decision 100%. too. I mean, I think it comes down to, you know, any, any, any young athlete or any athlete over the years, you have to make your own decisions when it comes to things like that. You know, it's, um, I don't know what it is, if it's emotional intelligence. I think my principal spoke about it the other night. So you just have to, that has to come from yourself. You know, that's something you can't get taught. I believe that, you know, when I was young and I watched Phelps for the first time, I was 12, 11 or 12 years old. You know, that's when I made the decision that I wanted to, you know, you know, well, obviously I was swimming before that, but that's the time when, you know, I, I started wanting to be like him and wanting to, you know, swim at the Olympic Games. But why him? Because he was the best. You know, I wanted to be the best from, I guess, I mean, I don't know, Dad, you can help me out. No, when I was young, you know, I just, I just, you know, for me, it's, it's, you know, it's not about whatever, the fame and the money, the fortune, anything that comes with it. It's about being successful. Here's the thing, and you, you also mentioned the sacrifices, because there were a hell of a lot of sacrifices here. Like, name a few of these sacrifices. It was crazy, you know, because when I was, especially in high school, it came very difficult to me because, you know, I went on my first tour when I was like 16 years old, my first overseas tour. And right from there, you know, you had to start sacrificing small things, you know, like just, you know, you know, in the trick, you know, not going out on the weekends, you know, training every day. So you can't go out and party with your friends, you know, you know, that is my trick, you know, mm. everybody's going out and, you know, you don't have many friends that understand that. You know, or girlfriends. Girlfriends, on the other hand, also, you know, no one really understands that. I mean, even even now it's hard because I'm married to my sport for the next few years. I mean, even like now before a big competition, my cell phone's off. You know, when I'm training, I don't want to be distracted by anything. If I want to call someone, if I need to call someone, I'll, I'll put myself in on and call someone. You know? So, so here's a little boy in the pool, uh, and you you can go back a few years and you can advise the the very young Chad Laclo. Would you would you say, listen, you know, have a little bit of a life as well. 100%. Or, or go for every single medal that you can get. No, no, no. What you have what to would do your is, advice be? You, you know, you have to definitely balance it out. You know, I think that's where my dad really helped me out a lot. You know, a lot of swimmers you see in South Africa, especially, it's sad because we have so many great juniors. You know, you look at the records and everyone talks about, you know, whoever they are. They come back to me, they're like, what happened to that guy six, seven years ago? He was beating you in high school and beating you in primary school and he still holds those records. And the problem is they don't have the guidance to continue with their sports. They just keep training and they just, you know, they train like I train now. I know some, some youngsters that train, they're 11, 12 years old. They do the same amount of mileage as I do. Mm. And I promise you now, they're not going to see 18, 19 years old because they're going to be burnt out. They're not going to enjoy the sports. Your complimentary breakfast. Jacaranda FM.